would just like for us to spend some time kumbaga level setting yung understanding natin of these terms that are that you typically encounter to mga terms ito. So, we're gonna begin with you know, uh, def- uh, defining with the definition of scientific inquiry, scientific research, scientific method and research and development. Alright! So, let's begin with the term scientific inquiry. So, the term scientific inquiry is activities resulting from our curiosity to understand the world. So, meaning, pag lumabas kayo ng bahay nyo at meron kayong obserbahan at nagtanong kayo, that activity, whether it is an informal activity, kahit hindi siya part ng thesis o pag-aaral, that in itself is already an act of scientific inquiry. So, broad term yan. So, exploring. So, okay, medyo na-curious ako sa bagay na to Paano ba ito gumagana? So, yung pagtatanong nyo at yung pag-observe ninyo, that's part of scientific inquiry. And most importantly, yung pinaka import yung uh, isa sa pinakamahalagang aspeto ng scientific inquiry is you seeking seeking explanations or answers to your questions. So yon. So napaka broad ng term na yan. So pag narinig niyo na oh scientific inquiry, scientific research, ano bang pinagkaiba no? So pinakamalaking or pinakamalawak na term yung scientific inquiry. And it is science it scientific inquiry that serves as the foundation upon which we develop or scientific research and a scientific method. Nung una, nung hindi pa na-formalize na research at saka scientific method, ginagawa na natin ito. Ayan, kumaga mas formal lang yung terms na scientific uh, research at saka scientific method. So, what about scientific research? So, scientific research, on the other hand, it is a systematic way to perform scientific inquiry. And we typically perform uh, scientific research Uh, to gain or establish knowledge uh, about a specific topic. So I would give emphasis to that, to a specific topic. So when you perform scientific research, you are trying to understand one subject. So meaning it's focused. Alright, so yun yung gusto kong tatandaan ninyo. So when you perform scientific research, most especially sa college, you're picking a specific topic. All right, and the main intention of scientific research is to answer a set of questions about that topic. All right, so it's a systematic and a formal process. All right, most of you, I would assume, had also heard of the term research and development already, and we loosely use this term now. Pag tinanong, actually, actually, ako pag graduate ko ng college. Loosely ginagamit yung term na yun. Pero sa totoo lang ay kung kailan ko na talagang naintindihan yung essence na research and development was when I was already working sa corporate world. Kasi um, hindi ka na medyo ano medyo madaling ma-misunderstood na yung ginagawa mo research is already is also involving development. So hihimayin natin yan. So like I said earlier, research it is to gain knowledge or to improve our understanding of a certain topic. So once you have answered the question, meaning you have already done your research. Pero yung development pala, so development, what we do is we apply, produce solutions, products, and materials. So masasabi mo lang that you have performed research and development kapag yung natutunan mo sa pag-perform ng research na apply mo na. O kapag ginamit mo para mag-invento ka ng bagong technology, pag mag-invento ka ng solusyon, sa existing uh, challenges that uh, you're faced with. So, yun yung essence ng research and development. Alright? Hindi yung nag-research ka lang sasabihin mo, I am performing R&D. Dapat na-apply, dapat merong output. Dapat meron kang outcome. Okay, now, so, what about the scientific method? So, scientific method, ito yung, this is the most fundamental process in scientific inquiry. So, Imagine, kap- when you perform scientific research, how about you? Uh, I would like to model yung uh, pag-spread ng COVID. Within that research topic, typically for you to understand or to, to, to come up with an explanation dun sa napili yung subject, usually you have to tackle siguro one, two, or three questions. No? The process by which you answer each of those three questions is what you call the scientific method. So, yun yun. so, yung scientific method, yun yung gagamitin nyo to uh, come up with answers to specific questions. So, when you say a scientific method, you're trying to answer it by experimentation. A 
set of questions can improve your understanding of a specific topic that is scientific research. And when you perform a multitude of different scientific research, tackling the different aspects of a much bigger field, yun na yung scientific inquiry. So, palaki siya ng palaki. Ganun yung um, pagkakadesign noon. So, this is also the reason why kung mapapansin nyo, sa first year high school uh, ninyo, unang tinuturo sa inyo yung scientific method. So, it is the scientific method that is first taught at the basic education level. So, bakit pa ganun yan? So, kaganto kasi yung overall design. So, scientific method muna sa first year high school. And then, from your first year hanggang third year, typically, you were taught how to perform experiments, no? So, laboratory experiments. So, yung laboratory experiments yun, those are opportunities for you to uh, learn how to practice the scientific method. And then, meron tayo at all levels, whether it be sa college or sa high school level, meron kayong capstone project, no? Meron kayong capstone project sa fourth year. And that is for the reason na since na-practice niyo na yung first three years nyo, ang pag-perform ng um, scientific method through laboratory experiments, dapat pag din na-form kayo to tackle your own research using what you learned from your first three years of performing experiments. Yun yung reason kung bakit yun doon. And then, if you chose eventually to become a scientist or to become an innovator just like me and your Kuya JP, that's when you truly perform scientific inquiry. Okay? And then, yung mga matututunan nyo dyan sa inyong scientific inquiry conquest, kapag na-apply nyo yan, that's when you come up and contribute to society by inventing new technologies that would benefit mankind. So, yun yung ginagawa namin nila, Kuya JP.